All right. Welcome to the show, everybody. It's another Friday at home here in Sausalito, California. My name is Dave Cos. Thank you so much. Whatever you've got going on today, which is probably not that much. I mean, you might be busy, but you're not that busy. That's what I know. <laughs> we can all find a little bit of time in our schedules these days. But whatever you're doing, I'm so happy you're taking a little break uh, to join me this afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Could be morning where you are. We've had uh, people tune in from all over the world to these little Facebook Live uh, events. So we just want to say a big thank you to you, and hopefully you're feeling great. The reason I'm wearing this um, shirt, it is pink, and I woke up today. I couldn't believe that it was May 1st. May 1st. Yeah. Springtime which we, we made it through, and I'm gonna just tilt this over here. Here's uh, my co-host, Blake <laughs> I got, Kuahara. I got a promotion. Yeah, <laughs> not, you're, not, you're not just a sidekick anymore, you're a co-host. The and then she is, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Blake oh. is holding Janice. There's Janice, who's yeah, in Los Janice. Angeles right now. So you gotta figure this out. So that's our little crew here, our weekly <gasps> crew. You, if, you're a, if you're a regular watcher of this show, you know these people. They're kind of like members of your family, your extended family. So uh, I, I, wo I woke up today and I was like, we made it through the month of April, Blake. It's May 1st. I mean, we Maybe. made it through. And that, that was one hell of a, a month. Milestone. It was a big month for everybody. Because not only were, were we dealing with uh, the, the new aspects of our life, you know, our lives were changed um, completely uh, in the month of March. But we, we had a whole month of being pushed and pulled in so many different directions. The way that I've... Uh, talked about this. The feeling of this last bit of time has been like being in a in a boxing match, but uh, you know you can't hit back. <laughs> it's just like boom, boom, boom. You read the paper in the morning. You're online. It's like boom, boom. You watch some program. Boom, boom, boom. And you really can't hit back. It's just That's what it is. Right hook, by the way. Yeah, thank yeah. you. It's my right hook. <laughs> <laughs> but we have we, we're still standing. That's the most important thing is that all of us, and of course there's been a tremendous amount of sadness and we wanna keep those people, uh, sadly the, the hundreds of thousands of people that have uh, passed uh, because of COVID-19 around the world and so many people that have gotten sick, we wanna keep those people very close to our hearts and top of mind in everything that we do moving forward. Uh, but um, we're still standing, we're still here. So I wanna say congratulations to you. You are a hero for making it through. And hopefully, God willing, the month of May will be filled with more bright spots like this shirt. Now I'm looking at myself in the on, on the camera here and I'm noticing, if you don't mind me saying, and I apologize, because this may sound a little conceited, but I'm having a very good hair day. You have to admit. Can you admit to me? Let me look at the sides, right? Look at the back. It's because I took matters into my own hands, actually not my hands, but his hands, and got a haircut yesterday from Blake Kuahara. It was absolutely necessity. It was, I mean, and- You're looking better, I you, say. I think it's, you yeah. did a very, very good job. And let me just ask you publicly, Blake, do you have any experience cutting hair? Did it once before? For you? Yeah. Two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're my one and only client. <laughs> I gotta keep you happy. By the way, I don't pay him. I really don't pay, yet. Yeah. Uh, but we took a little video. Uh, boys, you got the video? Just run the video a little bit of, of the haircut just to show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the way it was for about 30 minutes. Oh my God! But actually, I got to—I have to publicly say to you, Blake, you did a great job. Thank you. You look good. And uh, <laughs> Blake is available in case you want to hire him to come to your house for a small fee. Uh, I would like to play a song for you right now. Uh, by the way, we have a great show today. So if you're thinking about tuning off, turning out of here, uh, please don't. I'm going to play one song, take a few requests, and then we are going to be visited by two astonishingly talented people. Um, she is the pride and joy of to Tokyo, Japan, is where she comes from, but she is in Redondo Beach, California, uh, at her home in California, uh, and I'm talking about Keiko Matsu, who will be joining us in just a few moments, and she's all ready to play your requests, and I can't wait to hear them myself. And then we'll be joined by uh, a wonderful friend and great saxophonist uh, from uh, Copenhagen, Denmark, originally from his home in Hermosa Beach. It's actually not far from Redondo Beach, so they're very close together, although separate, at least six feet apart. 
Uh, Michael LinkedIn will be with us in a little bit. So be sure to stick around. We've got lots of really fun entertainment and all of your requests for another Friday at home session. But right now, I want to play a real quick song for you. And this comes from uh, a new album that I'm working on right now uh, to celebrate my 30th anniversary of making records. Hopefully it will be coming out in the fall. And this is a song that I wrote with Jeff Lorber. Um, and it's, it's one of my favorites from the new album. It's called All the Love in the World. And I want to dedicate it to all of you based on what I said before, making it through the month of uh, March and April. And here we are at May. Uh, you had a lot of love in your heart to make it through. So this one is for you and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, here we go. Thank you. 
smattering of applause. <laughs> That's called All the Love in the World. Brand new a song that Jeff Lorber and I wrote. A big shout out to Jeff Lorber, the guy who gave me my start in this business. Without him, I wouldn't be here for sure. So thank you, Jeff Lorber. I want to take a couple requests for you right now, and then we are going to bring on our special guests. Uh, to start, I would like to send us a, uh, in honor of our special guest from Tokyo, we got a couple of listeners in Tokyo that want to hear a song. Uh, for me, actually, and they're good friends. They always come to our shows when we play the Blue Note Tokyo. I'm talking about Shigeru and Eriko from Mana Coffee. They make amazing coffee over there. And they would like to hear a Japanese classic called Sukiyaki and dedicate it to all the suffering people and staff fighting COVID-19. Here here's Sukiyaki for you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we got a request in from Nigel Waugh uh, and also uh, Marissa. Let's see, Marissa and Nigel. Nigel says, I hope you will have received my request for You Make Me Smile. I treasure your performance on this YouTube with Jeff Lorber, and we all need to smile just now. Thank you, Nigel. And Marissa Quartuli Ognibene, living in New York and working at Mount Sinai Hospital, we have been slammed by COVID. We've been through a lot of emotions, seen so many people die because of COVID, so many employees sick and some who have passed. I would love to hear you play You Make Me Smile. Thank you for giving us a reason to smile. Wow, beautiful. This is for you. <laughs> for your beautiful request. Uh, Justine Howard, um, it's going to be a pleasure to sit in with you and Keiko Matsui and Michael LinkedIn uh, online, that is, she says. Would love to hear some honey dips. Here you go. <laughs> Justine. All right. Uh, Lorraine Fiddler, I'm so grateful for all the friendships I have made over 30 years um, with all of you artists. I'm celebrating my birthday on Saturday from Las Vegas. My request is Rise uh, and looking forward to another Friday session. So Lorraine, happy early birthday. Here's a little Herb Alpert. <laughs>
goodness. Thank you for your requests, Lorraine. Uh, let's see here. Um, here's a, uh, a comment from Grace Fan. Uh, you make me smile every Friday. Thank you for hosting. Uh, this wonderful idea during crazy times makes life that much sweeter. That's very sweet. Please stay healthy. Shout out to all the frontline people. So grateful from one caregiver to another. Grace, thank you for your incredible commitment uh, to keeping us safe wherever you are. We appreciate it. Uh, here's a great story from James Sanson. I've been watching these concerts and dialogue with David and his guests have given me a new plan. I was once very good with the trumpet, cornet, and baritone. I left it all behind when I joined the Marines in 1984. I did get an invite to the Marine Band, but turned it down to go into the field I was assigned. I never picked up the instruments again until today. My Bach cornet arrived, and I played the first three notes to an old Chuck Mangione favorite today. Lucky to get that out. Now I just need to practice, and maybe soon, I can play along with you guys. And that comes from James Sanson. James, great story. Thank you for letting us know and keep it up. Get that corn out, out each day, at least one, maybe for half hour a day. How's that? I'm throwing down a little challenge to you and keep us uh, po uh, posted, sorry. Uh, let's see here. Tony Alexander says uh, she was gonna be on our 2020 cruise. And since we're not cruising May 29th, the British Isles with you, uh, Norm and I will celebrate our 21st anniversary with you online today, May 1st. So to Tony and Norm, happy anniversary. Got a great one in from El Paso, Texas, Armando Novoa. DK, it's always good to hear your music. And every year we look forward to going to your Christmas concert in El Paso, your home away from home. And I sincerely hope to see you uh, coming up this holiday season in El Paso. Um, may God bl God's blessings be with you and your family. Always Mondo. Thank you so much for that. Uh, let me just mute my, I'm so sorry. I've got my mail is making noise. That's how you know this is a live show. <laughs> Anna uh, Bilkate uh, from New York says, uh, should be another awesome show. Can I please request either New York, New York, or New York State of Mind for us here at the Epicenter? Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Anya, I hope that you're taking good care of yourself and to all our friends in the New York area, this one's for you. Always loved that song. Marsha Lambert would like to hear a little bit of the dance. Hi, Marsha. I love you and I miss you. <laughs> Marsha, hope you enjoy. Okay, got a lot to get to here. Uh, Lisa Kushani wanted to hear Climb Every Mountain. Do you know Climb Every Mountain? Mm -hmm. Sound of Music. Yeah, Sound of Music. Janice, do you know how to play uh, Climb Every Mountain? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, idea where that came from. <laughs> Sometimes I like taking a, a good challenge here. May Deo. Uh, let's see here. Hi, Dave Cause. It's going to be a long shot for me to get granted a request, but yes, if I will be fortunate enough, I'd be so blessed if if you could play one of your favorites on, on uh, my 50th birthday on May 1st. 
Uh, God bless me when you kindly graced my toddler with a photo back in 2013. We bumped into you at the San Jose airport, uh, and you were so cool. Your music was our wedding music, too, in 2009, so your music has been part of our family somehow. Thank you in advance. So, May, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, May. And uh, two final ones here. This one was an email request. Thank you, Dave, uh, for the live streams. I just posted on the Facebook page asking if Dave could dedicate Know You By Heart to my husband, Pete, this Friday. We just celebrated our wedding anniversary this April 29th, and Pete played Know You By Heart for me on his sax on our wedding day 19 years ago. Uh, Dave and his music have been part of our marriage since we met, and we'd be so honored if Dave would be a part of our lives in this moment. Happy anniversary to uh, to both of you, Pete, and to, to where's, uh, I don't think there, she gave me her name. Okay, well, this is for you and Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary, guys. And finally, uh, I would like to play this for Michael White. My request this week is to play something special to honor all those we have lost in the last couple of months, whatever you feel appropriate. Thank you for that, for bringing that up, Michael. Here's a song. <laughs> we have lost. And thank you again very much for being a part of today's show. Enough of me. We've got two amazing <laughs> guests that are probably sitting there going, oh, what's up that low? What about me? And one of them is going to join us right now. And I am so excited about it because I love her so much. She is, um, she, it's very difficult to put into words what she does when she sits down at a piano or keyboard. Uh, she's this very petite, gorgeous, beautiful, very shy, very Japanese woman. But when she sits down at the piano, watch out. Put your seatbelt on because Keiko Matsui is taking charge. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Help me welcome Keiko Matsui. Hi, hey, David. Thank Hi. you for inviting me. Hi. Hi, I'm so happy to see you here. Hi, Louie. Thank you for inviting me. Janice wants to say hi. Hi. And for uh, people, uh, fans in Japan, we say, uh, Ohio gozaimasu. Ohio gozaimasu. Ohio gozaimasu. Any time of day you can say that, right? Huh? You can say that any time of day, even though that says good morning. For artists, you can say it any time of day, right? Oh, that's that's entertainment business. <laughs> oh, hiya, <laughs> Yes. And my yeah. my you know other, that. you and I have already are, already spoke about this many times. But my favorite yeah. phrase in Japanese is otsukari sama deshita. Otsukari sama deshita, and yoroshiku onegashimasu. And yoroshiku onegashimasu. We cannot find in English, right? It's so. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what does Otsukari Sama Deshita mean to you? When when somebody says that, what, what does it mean? What does it imply? Oh, uh, well, th that that shows that the appreciation of your hard work kind of thing. So 
it's very nice to say each other at the end of I work. Love, I love Japan so much, and you and I oh. have been in Japan together and yes. done for Japanese food at sushi restaurants, yeah. different restaurants. I recommend so Ray, if you ever want to go to Japan, go with Keiko. She's got the inside. <laughs> <laughs> how are you today, by the way? How are you feeling and how is everything going for you? Oh, fine. Thank you. I have been quarantined for a long time and I felt like four months past, but uh, no, but I miss really be on the road. But yeah. I felt good today. Like um, you are Sasarito and Michael is uh, Hamosa and uh, Ridondo. All we are connected by the ocean and just uh, hearing each other. So uh, we are close. That's great. That's, that's very much you to recognize something like that. You're very oh. you're so conscious of your environment and, <laughs> and your music too, spirituality and environment and all of the, the elements of the universe you bring into your music. Mm -hmm. And that's why I believe that people Thank just, you. when they see you and when they hear your music, they latch on on such a deep level because it's more, it's more than just notes. It's really your soul connecting with others, other, other people's souls. Do you have a, when Thank you're you. going into the studio, and when you're composing yeah. it, your piano there, mm -hmm. do, you, do you just do you, do you think a lot, or are you just completely a channel for uh, a higher power to come through you? Uh, I don't think anything, and just to sit in front of the piano and wait to hear something, and uh, I catch something from there. Does it always give you something? Uh, once I really concentrate it, then start coming, but. Uh, Sometimes it doesn't come and I just went to sleep and then come back. Sometimes I, I hear in the dream. Oh, yeah. Do you have, a tape recorder, you have a tape recorder at the side of your bed or some sort of recording advice, uh, a device by the by uh, your... No, uh, I write it down mostly on the music sheet or recording into iPhone really roughly. <laughs> and the correct motif, 100. Well, whatever... Well, Whatever you're doing, whatever your process is, it is working because you've given the world so much beloved music. And uh, I've Thank you. I mentioned that you were going to be a guest, a, a very special guest on our show. We got so many requests, which I'd like to, uh, to start <laughs> with right now. Are you ready? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start with um, okay. Scott Cat 77 on Instagram. Okay. Uh, and also Smitty Smith, which I'm assuming is, is our friend Smitty Smith, the bass player. Oh, um, wow. Uh, he came online too. And they both would Thank like you. to hear your song forever, forever, if you'd be so kind. Okay, sure. Thank you so much for the request. Okay. It sounds so beautiful. It sounds Thank like you. <laughs> okay, uh, we got another one here. Okay. Uh, and this one comes from Ron Hess. Uh -huh. uh, and Ron says, this one's easy, Dave. How about recreating the magic from your Christmas tour two years ago when you and Keiko performed <laughs> Bridge <laughs> of the Stars? Now, Ron, I wow. love podcasts, but you, you know, we're, we're uh, operating in technology that doesn't allow us to play together and it being in sync. but. I will follow your lead, Keiko. Oh, okay, I'll, great. That would I, be great. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Okay, bridge over the stars. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's hot. <laughs> Thank you. I wish you're proud. <laughs> yeah. I love that song yeah. so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hope that worked for you, Ron Hess. Uh, okay. Oh, by the way, I wanted to ask you uh, to tell mm -hmm. our our, uh, our viewers today where you are. You're at your home in Redondo Beach, right? Yes, I'm at my home, living room, facing to the balcony and the ocean over there in the Redondo Beach, Southern California. <laughs> and how is it? In how has the quarantine, the lockdown, been for you? And are you on your are you on your own, or do you have other people that you are quarantining with? Yeah, Marco, my younger daughter, uh, who said forever, forever, she's here, but she's on, taking online class class for the college and uh, working very hard. Um, yeah. Will you give so, her but my? The, but we cook. Uh, we we cook, we cook together and eat together, and sometimes with movie time. That's really nice. Uh -huh. And you must be so proud of uh, of both your girls. You have two wonderful kids, and your mm -hmm. older daughter, I believe, mm -hmm. Maya, uh, got Maya. married. Um, that was yeah. earlier this year, before the whole coronavirus hit, right? Right. Yes, that was great, great, great special, special event for the family, and uh, I'm so happy for her. And she found the sweetest, wonderful husband. <laughs> Uh, so that uh, that that made me so happy. <laughs> uh, that's, that's so great. So you really like him. You like him a lot. Yes, and my mom, grandma likes him too. <laughs> Very important. That's important, right? <laughs> Very important. Mom's yes. gotta like everybody. It's yeah. Very uncomfortable. That's so great. Congratulations, <laughs> Omerito Gozaimas. Arigato gozaimas. Arigato gozaimas. <laughs> Are you ready for another? Okay. We've got uh, Laura Wiltsey Van Aston. I'm oh, sorry, Laura Wiltsey Van Aston, and she is a big Keiko Matsui fan, and she would like to hear one of your classics and one of my favorites, one of my all-time favorites of yours, a song <laughs> called Safari. Safari. Okay, here we go. <laughs> such a great melody. Like, Thank you. <laughs> even though you're a piano player, you wrote a perfect melody for soprano saxophone. I love uh, it. Yes. I love soprano saxophone. <laughs> I hear the melody already singing with a soprano saxophone. So. Is that your favorite of the saxophone, soprano? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And expression, so, so deep that the, the range of expression, it's the beauty of the instrument. So I love it. Beautiful. Well, and I'm happy. Very beautiful. Thank I'm you. I'm happy to be your soprano saxophone player anytime. <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. <laughs> By the way, I think you're, you're still going to like me to say this, but if you've been on our cruises ever before, and Blake has been on our cruises, and Janice, and so many people, and, and you know that Keiko is one of our favorite artists, um, just uh, all you need to do uh, to find the other side of Keiko is to buy her <laughs> a tequila. Don't say that. <laughs> oh, secret, secret. One, one shot, just one small <laughs> shot. 
And then she drinks it, and it's just, you know, it's another, it's a whole other show. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're so yeah. public. Oh my but, God. No, it's, a, it's a great show. It's a great show. And, and, um, and well, you know that I love you so much, Keiko. Keiko and I, I love you. when we do our cruises, Keiko is, she plays along and she plays my ship wife. And then, um, we we do all kinds of fun things together. We do the game shows together. We go places together. <laughs> very 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 fun. She's such a good. Let me just say to to you if you're watching, Keiko Matsui. If you're not yet a fan, you have to be. Not just because of her amazing music, but because mm. she is such. She's one of the greatest people on the planet. I promise you. Get to know. Yeah. Her. Oh, so glad you're here. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, we have uh, some more requests to get to before, and Michael LinkedIn is coming up. So if you're uh, okay. don't don't uh, move that dial. Uh, this <laughs> one comes from I K Muher on Instagram. Thank okay. you, thank you, thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Anything Japan's Trisha Keiko Matsui plays from her Moyo album would be perfect, since that album was just recently released oh. when she first appeared on the Dave Cos and Friends cruise in 2007. Maybe yeah. Black River from Moyo album. And uh, she says, thank you for introducing me to a universal treasure as Keiko Matsui. And that's so sweet. And then there was another, yeah. uh, Rita McTrivies. Uh, mm -hmm. She would like to hear Black River uh, super special because I first heard it on the cruise as well. So there you go. Oh, okay. Thank you. Black River. <laughs> people around here oh thank you so you know, much Blake and I were saying like you got such small hands <laughs> and and yet there's so much sound that's coming out of that keyboard it's like it's, oh, it's yeah. four hands not two hands oh <laughs> thank you I try my you best. Have any secret <laughs> hands working behind <laughs> you okay just checking uh, Sandy Bates Hinman on Facebook mm -hmm. Uh, would like to hear Keiko play Moon Over Gotham from her album. Mm -hmm. uh, this, I think, is the, the most recent album called Echo, which is beautiful, right. by the way. I've been a Keiko fan for years. Um, I first bought her cassette tape in 1989 called Under Whoa. North. So that, that's a big fan. She's got a cassette oh, yes. tape. yes. Right, right. That era. Wow. Thank you so much. So she wants to hear Moon Over Gotham. Okay, try. I need a rhythm. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs>
was that? <laughs> Thank you so much. That must have been very, very hard to play. All of those. <sighs> just just you without any rhythm section. That was right. That blew in my me away. imagination. <laughs> We have time for one more, but before we uh, we ask you to pl play that one, um, I want to ask you, uh, yes. because you're such a spiritual person and someone who is a citizen of the world, oh. and <laughs> someone who takes cues from the universe, uh, I would like to know your perspective and mm -hmm. if you could put a little bit of uh, words behind what this experience has been for you and mm -hmm. for the world going through this monumental unprecedented experience that we're all in at the same time yeah. everywhere in the world we're all in it together yeah so this is a special time this is very hard time for everyone but uh, i think this is uh, the time to us to think and us to think about the, how we live and what's most important thing and uh, also about the nature and uh, you know the sky is cleaner and uh, Wild become wilder and uh, all good things are happening. So let's stay strong and keep your life. But at the same time, I think we become more gentle and uh, caring each other. So we will have a totally different era, but uh, I believe that we will have a better and a peaceful world soon. Yeah. That's beautifully said. Couldn't say it better myself. Thank you for that. <laughs> One last uh, request before we bring uh, Michael LinkedIn into the mix here, and that comes from Karen Goff. And mm -hmm. uh, she said uh, Kate, she loves Keiko's rendition of Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. It brought me to uh -huh. uh, wow. love to do that again. So a uh, little Marvin Gaye. You got okay, it? Let, let me recall him because only I played that song at your cruise show. Right. Um, there, Karen. Uh, okay, 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 okay. And okay. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Back that we you just had for one second. It, uh, Electa Whitfield, thanks for a beautiful rendition of Marvin's song, surprisingly as oh. valid as it was when he recorded it. And I Thank agree. Thank you so much. <laughs> Keiko, once again, arigato, honto ni arigato gozaimasu. Honto ni arigato gozaimasu. Oh, happy to be here. It. Thank so you. Sweet. And I love you and I miss you and I can't wait to hug Thank you, you when it's safe to hug you. And you know that I will be, I'll be first in line to hug you when it's safe. 
Just giving you one. Thank you. One. Um, and I want to bring in, uh, while, while we can all be together, I know you have to go, so I want to uh, bring uh, our other guest in because he is your neighbor. He's not yes. he's not your next door neighbor, but he's down the street. <laughs> so uh, let's see if we can all be together for just a minute as I welcome to our show one of my favorite saxophone players and one of my favorite human beings, the incredible Michael LinkedIn. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. Beautiful, Keiko. Beautiful. Thank I can hear you. you. I, I, I poked my head out on the balcony. Uh -huh. I could, I could yeah. hear you down the street. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> well, are you guys? Good to see you. Are you pretty close to uh, maybe a mile away from each other or two miles? How, how far away? Well, um, we're basically one city over. It's a part of the, right. uh, the South Bay here. So we could be probably five minutes away from each other, uh, really. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh -huh. well, maybe you guys could do like a street concert one day, you know? Just yeah, I'll do right. that. Get out yeah, let's do right. it. <laughs> you were talking about doing, Michael, before we went on the air, you were talking about like going out on your balcony like they do in, in Italy. Yeah. Yes, yes. I, I was asking we if, if there's any possibility of Keiko rolling out the piano on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little bit of an easier job just to uh, get the sax out there, but I uh, know, but she says she needs a little help with the piano. Yeah, a little <laughs> Get the piano well, movers. I, I can bring a little melodium, little one. I like All it. Right. Let's do it. Yeah. We will okay. work on that. Yeah. Give us a minute to work on that. We'll see if we can okay. uh, organize a street concert in, in the beach cities of Southern California. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. Keiko, thank you so much on behalf of thank all you so of much you watching. For me. Michael and me and Brian and, and Callie, our producers, uh, and, and Blake and, and Janice. We love you. We I miss you. you. Thank you. I just love her. She's great. It's wonderful. She's, have you guys ever made music together, like recorded something together? We never have. Um, it's actually interesting. I auditioned for her band many years ago, but um, never. I didn't get the gig. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I do know, uh, possibly, well, that's, that, that's two ways it could have gone. It, it was either the terrible mullet I had that she may not have liked or. I remember that mullet. Or the fact that I. I um, <laughs> Uh, buddy, how are you today? How's everything? I'm good. I'm good. I, I know that you um, had a, a request to bring Landon on here, and uh, the door just magically opened, and he's awake, and his agent oh. says he's available. Oh. Hi, Carrie. Lucky for, for you, those... Dave. He's awake oh, for hi, you, Karen. buddy. Hi, Landon. Oh, look. And oh, hi, Lauren. God. The whole family is here. Wow, and for those of, so big. those viewers who did don't know, the um, the uh, uh, the Lingtons just welcomed a brand new baby boy. He's about a, about five weeks old or six weeks old. No, he's uh, ten now, almost going on eleven. I know wow. it's we're in a time war period. Exactly. He wow. is he is so adorable. And hi, Lauren. How are you, dear? David, say hi. Can you say hi. <laughs> <laughs> she got a little shot. That's all right. Hi, hi Landon. Ah, oh, he's so adorable. He is such a great guy. Mm, I love him so much. He is such a great guy. And Lauren, being at home, it's uh, you know from school, being here every day has been so wonderful. Just uh, engaging her, herself with her uh, with her puzzles and her homework, and and uh, you know it's been a real joy to uh, to have him all here at the house. Mm. And uh, has Landon um, kind of been drawn to the to the saxophone a little bit? Because there's a lot of saxophone going on. Yeah, not a, he, not a fan. He does not like the sax. So, <laughs> so it's a so little bit of a little bit of a Keiko problem. Keiko Matsui, <laughs> Landon Lincoln. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know about Carrie. The verdict is out with Carrie, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's the fan. Just, a, just a, Carrie, you look gorgeous. I can't she, hear oh, um, she can't hear you. Uh, but um, he says you look gorgeous. Oh, I thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. And uh, what's what's uh, Landon's activity been mostly? Sleeping, uh, eating, and um, the, the third things. thing that usually comes with uh, with a baby. Yes, exactly. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for sharing the kids today. We love Bye. you. Thank oh, you so much. Thank oh, you. That is so – ah, God, that's the best. So cute. He really has got a little swagger already, doesn't he? He's, he's, he's so cool. You know, I mean, he um, – He's just turning in, you know, his personality start coming out and, and uh, 
he smiles, he giggles, you know, he uh, he makes funny faces. He, it's just, it's wonderful to see. That's the silver lining. One of the silver linings in, in this crazy time we're in right now is get to spend so much time with him and see every day how little things uh, evolve and happen. Right. And, uh, it's, it's beautiful. Because under normal circumstances, you would probably be doing shows and traveling already now. Exactly. Right? I mean, I, uh, I had taken a little time off to... Um, uh, you know, to welcome into this world. And I was getting ready to go out every weekend and had a two uh, trips to Europe planned at about a week at a time. And uh, yeah, so um, so I wouldn't have been able to see all of this. And now I do. So there is definitely some some beautiful things, some wonderful experiences that I always have. And uh, even though this is a crazy time, we all here at the house every single day, the whole family. So, yeah. It, it's just, I'm probably... Sure, there's so many special moments that you guys are experiencing now that you'll look back on forever. So right. I'm very happy to hear that. And congratulations again, Mazel Tov. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I want to say to uh, the people that are watching that Michael came to me with a really cool idea about a week ago, and he said, let's recreate virtually um, uh, a duet that we do. He recorded this song, it's a Paul McCartney song on one of his albums, and he's and we've done it before many times uh, on stage, but since we can't do that right now, he said, why don't we do a virtual version of that song? And um, he made it very easy for me. I played it here in Sausalito. He played it in his home studio. Uh, and we have it prepared for you. This is the Facebook debut. You played this on your show, uh, on on uh, stage it last week, right? Last Sunday. This this, uh, this past Sunday, yeah. Uh, to the people that uh, tuned in there, they saw it, but uh, it nobody else has seen it yet. So this is sort of the the, the world premiere, if you will. Okay, so here is Michael LinkedIn and yours truly, our version, our new quarantine version of my love. Check it out.
Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Michael, uh, by the way, I won that round. Fair you did. Story. You did. But uh, she heard it. She loved it. She's a huge fan of yours. She's she's pretty much a, a mainstay of this show. People <laughs> tune in just to see what she's going to bring for us to eat. But she's a huge Michael LinkedIn fan. Oh, and that is my, my yeah. neighbor, CG. There Hi. she is. Hello, Hi. CG. Yeah, a little that's bit okay. What, what do you have today? Well, today we have for you, but really also for a friend of mine, gluten-free but delicious brownies. Ooh. Gluten. How lucky am I that my neighbor brings me gluten-free brownies? I'll send one to you, Michael. Yeah, please. So, please do. Gluten-free in my bird, in my mind is not brilliant, but this is <sighs> un untouched by human hands. Oh, you are so sweet. So you guys, I heard it from downstairs. It was fabulous, and I happened to be ready to bring up. Ah, uh, anyway, uh, let's we'll say thank you to CG. You thank you, Tony. Thank you so you much, bet. sweetie. That is so in the flowers. So nice sweet. touch. Look at, look at the nice presentation. Touch. I stole the flowers from our other neighbor, Christina, but she. <laughs> okay, she doesn't have to know. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. I, this is why I'm enjoying quarantine. Unbelievable. Now, I've been to your house up there. I've actually uh, spent a couple of nights up there one time. And uh, um, what a beautiful spot you got, Dave. Yeah. You're so kind to let me have your place for a few days. And uh, I was just happy that you, that you actually left. You didn't. Right. It was very hard to do because it's, uh, it, it, but it's a great, it's a great, beautiful place. So, so great. How is speaking of beautiful places? Your home in um, in Hermosa Beach is absolutely the home that you and Carrie share with your kids is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Tell us how the this whole experience has been for you, the quarantine experience for you guys. You mentioned a little bit about how special it is to be with the kids, but just on a personal level, how has it been for you, and what are the takeaways for for you, Michael, about this experience? Well, I think at first it was a bit of a shock because um, you know what we do is 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 tour and perform. Um, and uh, it's a part of our, our being, a part of our soul. And to have that taken away so abruptly um, was kind of a, uh, was kind of an issue, you know, and, and the same thing for, for Carrie, uh, she does these live events and the same thing for her. First it was postponed. Now it's probably going to be postponed until next year. And uh, so we had to um, find new ways to, to do what we do and um, having, you know, Lauren being in school every day and, and uh, it was just a complete disruption, but you know, we're amazing uh, as human beings, we find ways to adapt very quickly. And um, Carrie moved her business online um, for now. And, um, and so have we, and yeah. we, we found ways. And I, I have to tell you, um, I do these shows every Sunday now on a platform called stage it. And, um, it is so meaningful. It is so meaningful uh, to have these sessions because I feel connected to um, the people tuning in this audience, the beautiful comments. I, I can feel them. It's not the exact same as being on stage, being surrounded right. by people, but it's the next best thing. And uh, I've been so amazed and, and have been so um, blown away by how wonderful people are, uh, you know, in these very, very tough situations. So it's really been a very, very special thing to discover. So let me ask you, by the way, the, the, the stage it performances Sunday, yeah. what, what time are they? Are they always at the well, I alternate between two and five this coming Sunday. It is at five o'clock. Um, reasoning is because my uh, parents in Denmark, uh, the five o'clock is a little late for them. <laughs> because it'll be like, but it's at two o'clock in the morning. So now the, the truth is I, I, yeah, I try to do it. So there are people in Europe that can tune into, and if not in the middle of the morning, there was some people that said, you know what, you, I had to set my alarm for like two 30 to get up. And, uh, so, uh, this coming Sunday, it is a five o'clock uh, Pacific daylight time on stage it. Now it works a little different. You can't just, uh, click and, and, and then go on. You have to get a ticket, uh, and also sign up for a free account with stageit.com. However, my tickets are pay what you want. So it's kind of like it's mm -hmm. that. You just have it takes a little time to just get it set up. And it's a beautiful um, community we're building every week and, and it's growing and growing. And uh, I I look so much forward to it because after the show, my soul just feels so um, fulfilled and, and my spirit is lifted. Well, we have to, we're, we're performers and we're musicians and artists that, that need to, and that's why I'm, I'm so grateful to, for this show, 
Uh, and I've, right. I've really been enjoying watching everybody's own take. Right. There's so many shows and so many right. different platforms that musicians are finding right now to right. not just for the, uh, for, for our fans, we're completely dedicated to you. This is all for you, but it's mm -hmm. also for us too, because it's healing for us. Yes. It's very yes. easy time to, to go to our instruments and play mm -hmm. and especially play requests that you have given us to, to, to do. So, yeah. um, uh, Michael's show is fantastic. Rick has a great show. Boney has a show. Peter's been doing shows. Keiko's done. I mean, it's amazing yeah. how many, everybody's doing them. So, uh, on behalf of all the artists, thank you guys for supporting us all. My question to you, Michael, do you think that when we all get back to our lives, uh, maybe not a, a new normal of some sort, do you think that this kind of concept will continue? Maybe not every week, but do you think it'll continue maybe once a month or something? I, th I think so. I'm intending for it to continue because this is, uh, I've now set up my studio here at my house so I can uh, uh, press play and go. So I don't really want to take that down. I, and I'm having such a beautiful time with it. And I feel we're, I'm becoming close with the, with the people. And I feel it's like, it's, it's real meaningful. So I don't want to stop doing it. Maybe not as often as you said, but uh, definitely want to continue. And yeah. you know what, what's, what I tell you one, one cool thing I, that I discovered is that, you know, when I go out, usually you create a, a new show when we were out touring, you know, maybe one show a year is like a di different show. Um, here, I'm able to create a different show every week. You know, I have my background track, so I'm, I have a different uh, theme for every week. And uh, um, it's challenging and fun for me because I get to do songs that I couldn't fit in the set. I get to do songs that I've never done before. And uh, this upcoming show this Sunday is, is actually going to be a lot of fun for me because it's my band that went into the studio before all of this happened, recording my live show. Oh, so, wow. I, so I get to play. So we multi-track the whole thing. So I get, and then uh, for this show to, uh, on Sunday, my sax is off. And then I play live to my own band out of my home studio, but it will have the live arrangements. It'll have the tempos, the vibe, the feel of, 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 a, of a live concert. That so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Yeah. That's, you know, that that's going to be fun. Of you. It was like really forward yeah. thinking of you to do that. You know what? I wish I could tell I, I saw all of this coming, but it really wasn't why I did it. I did it because it is, you know, over the years, arrangements already, uh, I mean, always change. And once in a great while, one guy couldn't make the gig. And I said, let's go into the studio and record the whole show so we have, you know, a great representation of what the current show is so we can send it to a sub guitarist or sub piano player or yeah. whatever it is. That's why I did it. And look how incredibly handy it is right now. I get to actually play my live show. That's, that's really wonderful. It's going to be really nice for people to tune in on Sunday. But before that, we've got some requests here. Okay, I sure. promised these people that you would play for them. So uh, I'm going to start here. The number one, by the way, this was a surprise to me, and I know you you and your music very, very well. The number one requested song from Michael Linkton is a song called Pacifica, and it was requested by a ton of people. I'll mention a few. Marianne Storank uh, would like to hear it. Jamie Lynn Ramsey would like to hear Pacifica. Roberta Minor wants to hear that. Uh, and Cecilia Chiaccio. Okay amongst others. So here is Michael LinkedIn by request, number one request, Pacifica. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. 
beautiful. Thank you. I know it's probably painful for you to, to fade out your tracks. It's painful for us. <laughs> I want you to play the whole thing, but I want you to get to a couple other requests if you if you if you sure, don't mind. Of course, of course. Um, we got a uh, a request for show me from C K Ami Kubo on Instagram. C K Ami Kubo, and. Um, Sikami Kubo is a big fan of Michael Lincoln's, wants to hear the song Show Me. I, I love that it. song too. Can you do it? You know, we actually had fun doing that uh, during our Christmas show. And uh, love it. Right? And uh, so I'll do it for you right now. Here's a little bit of uh, Show Me. Let's see. Uh, one of the new tracks right that's a live track from no the that's actually no that was actually uh from uh, my album that was the, really? the uh yes yeah, that, that was oh. not the live one yeah that's from the album oh, but so that had live musicians on it so there you go i like the way that you and i, I can't believe that i'm going to say this uh while we're on the air but i like the way you say because uh, michael is from copenhagen denmark so english is not his first language although he speaks it better than i do for sure um but i like when you say musicians Right. Not mus musicians. We as Americans, we we're we're lazier. So like, uh, like lasagna, for example, lasagna. You say lasagna. lasagna. So so for a, a, an entire month of December, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, probably more like thirty years. If we really have to be honest, uh, Dave has been trying to get me to replace my s's with z's. So not music, <laughs> but music. See, is it better? Lasagna, music. But, it, but the argument for me is there is no Z in there. It's a S. But okay, well, okay. Technically, you are correct. You are right. I and you know it hurts me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I should say, and we're we're uh, we're gonna let you go, Michael, because we've been taking a lot of your time. But um, the the first time that I met Michael was 30 years ago. That's right. It was this, it was 1990 and uh, he had just gotten off the boat really, although I think you flew, but uh, you really had just gotten um, to America from Copenhagen, Denmark. Right. And um, it was so funny. And it was like the second but, week I was here. Like it, yeah. was, it was that, you know. But, In a million years, I never would have thunk that you and I would become yeah. friends that we have become. And it really has been a relationship and friendship and mutual inspiration uh, center for me for so many years. You know that I absolutely adore you as a as a person, as a friend, and I think you're one of the greatest saxophone players alive today. I really, really do. Thank I think you. you're. I, I not only have enjoyed our. Thank you so much. Not only enjoyed our friendship, but uh, you're a very special guy to so many people, including myself and my family. You know, so uh, it's it's we we love you. We all love you. I love you right back. Okay, last real quick request. I promised sure. this woman that I would ask you because she's been asking me to play it for weeks now. We've been doing this show for like <laughs> seven or eight weeks and I've avoided her request every time. But now I know that you can satisfy her request because you know this song, you recorded it. Linda Marchand Sanchez. Uh, I will quit requesting Harlem Nocturne for you and we'll try Michael instead. I've got his rendition. I know he plays it. So Harlem Nocturne, the classic melody. Mm -hmm. 
by Michael LinkedIn. <laughs> sound is so amazing. Linda, if you're watching, and I hope you are, you finally got your request. You can you can <laughs> stop asking me. <laughs> we appreciate all the requests and, and also apologies to, because uh, we had so many, we can't get to all of them every week, but keep doing them every week. We will try and get to all of them eventually. And we so appreciate it. Michael, I love you, buddy. Thank you so much for, for being a part of our show today and for your beautiful playing, which not only is so great for our ears. It, it really helps soothe right here. It goes right to the heart and um, pumps us all with a lot of good vibes, which we all need right now. So thank you. Keep doing your thing. Be sure to uh, support Michael in his stage at shows on Sunday at either two o'clock or five o'clock, depending on <laughs> the sleeping habits of his parents in Denmark. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again in person very soon, buddy. Very and Dave, I want to thank you so much for doing your show here, too. You bring so much joy and comfort to so many people. And uh, there's only one person like you that can do it the way you do it. And uh, we, we love you for that. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Blake and I send my best, our best Let's to you. Michael. By the way, can I just do this for Blake really quickly? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Like Wahara glasses right here. <laughs> Frames. Love it. <laughs> he just made his thank week. You. <laughs> love you, Michael. <laughs> God bless you, buddy. Kiss the kids for me and Carrie, okay? Will do. And see you very soon. Okay, Thank you. Michael Lincoln. Michael Lincoln. What a great show. I know we went a little longer than normal, but hopefully you were entertained. We have two phenomenal guests. We have two guys. We have two babies. We have kids. We got Baker. We got neighbors. Uh, and we, and his, his young, okay. Blake, by the way, Blake is a, is an eyewear designer under his own name. These are Blake Kuhars as well. And uh, we're all big fans of Blake. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next week, where I know that one of our guests will be the incredible and incomparable Nick Braun. Woo! I hope that you'll tune in for that. Plus, more surprises next week. In the meantime, it's the weekend. Have a beautiful, safe, and happy and comforting weekend, whatever you're up to, even if it's just staying at home or staying in bed. And Eat up and listen to music and watch TV. Enjoy yourselves and keep your mind um, engaged and and on the on the good stuff. There's so much as I mentioned at the top of the show. In this boxing match, so much stuff coming at us. And nurture yourself to sort of do things that make your heart feel good. And music is one of those things that does it for Hopefully, this last hour and change made it for you. Thank you. God bless you. We'll see you next week. And from all of us here. This big production that costs zero to put on, we say thank you. God bless you. See you next week. Bye.